Somebody tells me, my question is about the King James Version of the Bible. I was listening to a lecture by Sheikh Ahmed Didat and I believe he said that the word Trinity was there but it was taken out of it, but yesterday I was talking to my Christian friend and he didn't quite agree to that. So I was wondering if you can answer that for me. I've never heard that from Ahmed Didat. I didn't hear that from anybody. But just to set the record straight, first and foremost, King James did not know that they translated the Bible during his time, until after the fact. And then they wrote the soliloquy to him which still appears to the old Bibles. Praising him, calling him Lord and asking him to accept the fact that they've translated to the English language. Because they didn't want him to do what had done 100 years ago to William Tyndale where they burned him to death at the stake. It was never called King James Version in the United Kingdom or England. It was referred to as the authorized version because they said that he authorized it although he never did. Not before, not during, nor after. So that really is a false name, but just so you know, there never really was approval from King James, but they still call it King James Bible so I knew what you meant. Now as far as the word Trinity, has it ever been there? It never was in any of the translations and you can go back to the Vulgate in the 4th century which is in Latin. You can read it in the Latin language and you will not find the word tri in there. Tri or trinity means three. It's not there, it doesn't exist. Never did, and of course, most likely never will. But they are always changing it every day who knows what they will put in. But as of right this minute, there is no word trinity in the Bible. And as far as your friend, you mentioned that they didn't agree with this statement, well I agree with them too that there is no word trinity there if that's what they are saying. It has not or ever been taken out, because it never was there. Anybody who doubts it can simply go to the concordance of the Bible, which is a list of all the words and what they mean and how they were used in context. You won't find the word trinity there. You will find the word sword there, over 200 times. If you go to the Quran you will not find the word sword, anywhere in the Quran. But you will find the word trinity. It tells the Christians don't say the Trinity. That's better for you. So if he wants to argue about that, say, we'll get a concordance and let's look at it, let's find it, because it's not there. The concept of the Trinity is not there. There is a book called the Epistle, which means a letter from John. And this is not John the Baptist, not John the Gospeler or somebody named John, we don't even know who it is. Chapter 5, verse 7 says, there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, and these three are one. But that verse was added about 800 years ago. It was never there before. It's a remake of the verse before it, they took the verse before it and restated it. The verse before, verse number 6, still there today, says there are three that bear witness, it doesn't say in heaven, the Father, the Spirit and the blood. And these three agree, they don't say that they are one. So that's what that came from. The reference I will give you is from the Christian evangelists and scholars of the Bible of New Testament. His name is F.F. F. Bruce. He is one of the biggest scholars of the Bible and that's what he said. And it's on our websites www.bibleislam.com.